Autodesk InfraWorks 360 is a robust preliminary design tool that allows users to create conceptual 3D models by combining and connecting to a wide variety of data stores. Models can also be created utilizing a tool inside InfraWorks called Model Builder. Using an interface similar to that of any popular online mapping service, Model Builder allows users to graphically pick on a map the location of their project. The type of map utilized when picking your project area can be set to either a street map, aerial imagery, or an adaptive display which combines the two based on your level of detail. The project that we'll be working with is in the Netherlands in the Neuderp area near Stein. As I zoom in on the map, you'll see a cloverleaf interchange that marks the area that we'll be working with. Now that we've found our local area, we can select the data to pull in with our model. As you can see, we have a selection for roads, buildings, imagery, and elevations. When defining the area for the model, I have the option to create a model from the entire area displayed within the model builder window to place a rectangle around my selected area of interest, to draw a polygon around my area of interest, or to import a polygon that defines my area of interest. I'm going to draw a square around my area of interest to create my model. Note that Model Builder has a limit of 200 square kilometers for a given model to be built. Enter a name for your model and make sure your collaboration group is set appropriately if you're a member of one. If not, leave it as default. Once you select Create Model, a message will appear to tell you that your model is being built. You can see the details by clicking on Show Details to see where the information will be coming from. When your model is complete, you will receive an email at your Autodesk account letting you know that the model is ready to be downloaded. Back in InfraWorks on the home screen, you'll see that your model has been created. You can select the model to open it, at which time it will begin downloading the model and processing the imagery. This could take a rather long time depending on the size of your model. Once your model is downloaded, it begins to open. When your model opens, the program begins to tile and cache your aerial imagery. Again, this could take a little while, but when our model is built, I can zoom in and see that we have plenty of data for this area. We have buildings, we have roads, we have terrains, we have waterways, uh, we have everything that we need to start and build a conceptual design for this project. 